Brothers and sisters, this is a quick message. Um, I was praying for Danielle, Jesus, and Georgia back before Thanksgiving. I was praying on 11-22 of 2019, and while I was praying for Danielle to receive a message, uh, because she's given letters. I'm not, I don't have the same gift from the Lord. I get dreams and visions and the Holy Spirit speaks, but he doesn't give me letters. That's a sign to different people for God's reasoning. So uh, anyway, Danielle is given a letter and it is a letter in regards to the safe havens. And it's a message of hope, a living hope. And I just want you to listen to the words. And this may encourage you as you use your stimulus checks wisely. Please do not uh, pay your rent in your areas, guys. And please get down on your knees and seek the Lord. And Lot did not have time to get his debts in order. He had to flee the city when the angels said to get out of Sodom and Gomorrah. He had to flee. It was going to be destroyed. And I'm telling you, many of you live on the coastlines and in large cities, and great things are coming. Please heed these warnings. Please. Now listen to the, the message. Use all your finances and gather your finest possessions, guys, your clothes, your Bible, gold and silver, your medicine, your food and seasoning and your dishes, your blankets and pillows, some sheets, and get to these safe haven areas and start your lives over. You're going to have to leave your things behind. And the Lord is sorry that you did not know these things and you bought property in the wrong areas. You didn't know when the end times was going to happen. So please heed the warnings, guys. He loves you. That's why he sent us. That's why he sent us. Please believe that. Anyway, this is from the Lord. Tell my people I am giving back everything the enemy has stolen from them. Complete restoration, sevenfold. That means seven times seven times seven, which equals the number 21. It's God's number. This is to provide for their needs and the ones I will send them. Get ready. Um, it also equals Psalms 91. And guys, you need to get ready and get to the safe haven areas and help us with the safe havens. We've got to get them off the ground and running. We've got to get gardens going. We need guys to help put in plumbing for RV uh, spaces, uh, electrical. We need carpenters, guys, to help the Lord and serve the Lord. We need women that can help cook meals and make salads. Uh, we need people that will help minister to children and help care for children as the rest of us get out and do what we can on the safe haven grounds. So there's so much work that could be done, guys. And you can get jobs in the local area at HEB and other places. Other grocery industries are overwhelmed. Their managers and employees are working more than 40 hours. I had a store director that made a comment one of his grocery managers had worked 80 hours in one week because he's so overwhelmed with 18 wheelers coming in with food. So please, HEB's uh, paying uh, $13.50 to $15.50 to start out, guys, they're in desperate need. Apply for them and get this way uh, so you can get interviewed and get jobs for your, your families. Okay, so... Um, a second letter was given to Danielle while in Walmart, and I was fasting and praying in Plantersville, and within one hour, she got this message while in Walmart, while I was fasting and praying deeply to my Lord. And this is what the Lord said. There will be shelter. Did I not say I would hide you under my wings? That's Psalms 91. I will be your shelter. I will be your provider. I will feed you when you are hungry. Get ready to be fed and feed the ones in need. Servants of the Most High. These letters all equal, guys. This, these two letters equal Psalms 91 to a T. Uh, they equal what the Lord God wants us to be in these safe havens. And I want to read to you some more scripture uh, about the safe havens that the Lord laid on my heart. It's in Acts 4. And then I've got to go to work. It's in Acts 4, verses 31 through 32. Listen. And when they had prayed, the place where they had gathered together was shaken. 
And they were all filled with the Holy Spirit and began to speak the word of God with boldness. This is what the safe havens are going to be all about, guys. We're all going to speak with boldness. The Holy Spirit's coming down. I've been shown that he's going to be given a greater power. There's going to be blue stripes in his wings. The closer this comet gets to the earth, the Lord God showed me when the two moons come together in the heavenlies about a mile apart from each other the glory of god's going to be poured out on his last remnant we're going to have power like you've never seen but you need to be in these safe haven areas so he can cover you with his wings and protect you more so from the evil one we have much work to do we have youtube channels to make and places to go out in the out in the uh, marketplace to minister to people and we have uh worship services to do guys we've got work to do listen to verse 32 and the congregation of those who believed those who believed in these safe havens those who believe in the rapture those who believe in what God's doing in the end times those who are moved got up and moved okay those who believed were the one were of one heart and soul that means you we're all connected we all have a unity and not one of them claimed that anything belonged to him was his own but all things were common property to them this is what the lord god has showed me that's what the safe havens are going to be it's going to be common property for each and every one of us to rejoice uh, it's going to be our homes until the rapture uh, it's going to be a place where we care for children we care for the the elderly that can't care for themselves everyone will be healed we will be given glorified bodies we will be casting out demons we will be healing the sick and the blind and raising the dead off the streets and the marketplaces as these viruses continue guys and when i spoke that to vivian guess what the holy spirit did he lit up her whole body with fire a living fire upon it instantly as i said those words to her i told her she's coming back the lord showed her she was going to be here in march he didn't tell her how long but he showed her she would be back in june june is the month around the full moon time june the 5th is not going to be a good time to be out and about and traveling you need to be to these locations of safety before June the 5th and I'm not given a date of an event happening I'm giving you a date that you need to be settled in and you need to be ready now if you're living in areas that are uh, not in the danger zone of tsunamis not in the danger zone of great earthquakes or um, volcanoes then you're okay I'm only talking about people in large cities people that are not in wilderness areas people that are in volcano and great earthquake areas and great tsunami areas those people I'm talking to so please listen and please use these stimulus checks to get to safety and start your lives over near the safe havens. God has planned these places just for you to protect you, love you, care for you, cover you with his wings and his love. And there will be a great unity like no other unity. There will be a great time of worshiping together, getting down on our knees together and praying, watching the miracles of God be poured out and healing brothers and sisters that are sick if you're sick and you want to get healed you need to get up and get moving if um, you've been poor all your life and you've been wanting to do a ministry for the Lord you need to get up and get moving if you've been wanting to see the glory of God all your life before the rapture you need to get up and get moving to these areas and get relocated um, you need to pray for those that are lost in your family you need to pray that the Lord God would pour out his spirit on the day of Pentecost. He showed me and Danielle when we were in prayer seven weeks ago that he was going to pour out his spirit because I cried unto the Lord on that phone call. I literally grieved and shed tears for all of you. You can ask Danielle. She'll tell you. I literally grieved and I said, Lord, these tsunamis are going to wipe people out. I said, Lord, these volcanoes are going to wipe people out. I said, when are you going to pour out your spirit? And he said, soon so we have to trust that he did not leave me to Jonathan Kahn's sermon just the other night and Jonathan Kahn happened to remind the world that the day of Pentecost the day that Peter preached 
over three to four thousand people were saved and the Holy Spirit poured out his spirit upon the flesh of those people and they moved and received salvation. You have to understand he's got to do this worldwide now. This comet is in the heavenlies guys. It can now be seen at 4.30 a.m. in the eastern sky as long as you have an eastern sky. The Lord changed my schedule this, this weekend, this past weekend on uh, Friday and Saturday to show me as I was driving to work that the comet, when it, it moves in its orbit from the western sky at night, you can see it from 8.30 to 10, and then it moves in orbit, and then it's over in the eastern sky in the morning, and he has shown me that this comet is coming for judgment upon America. He branded the uh, map of America black into the face of the comet. He means business. Please pray. And please let the Lord God's stimulus checks in your hands stimulate you to get up and get going. You must leave a lot of your possessions behind. Take your clothing that you can survive on. Take your Bibles, your gold, your silver, uh, jewelry that can be pawned as pawn shops open. Um, take things and put a U-Haul trailer on the back. Load up gas cans. Get ready to head out. Get ready for the president to release America to go back to work. Please relocate. Please get jobs in this area. Please just look and see, um, you know, the job market in this area. If you could just come and see the need. People are lined up at HEB to get in, guys. They're lined up at these grocery stores to get in. They can only let 200 in at a time. And as people cash out, they let a few more in. They're in need. Managers are working 80 hours a week, some of them. And uh, I worked a double shift on Saturday. I was in need of paying my rent. Please heed the warnings, guys. Please use your stimulus check wisely. And if you doubt filing bankruptcy with the Lord, think about what Lot had to do. And the angels told him very quickly, get up and get your family and get out and do not look back. But his wife disobeyed and she was turned to a pillar of salt because she looked back and the atomic explosion pierced her body and she became like a pillar of salt, ash. And she didn't survive it because she disobeyed. Please don't disobey the Lord. Please don't test the Lord and stay in the areas that he has used. Mary, God's handmaiden. He's used King of Glory Ministries to talk about earthquakes and volcanoes and tsunamis coming over mountains. He's used Perry Stone. Uh, he's used Danielle. He's used me. He's been trying to use a servant's heart. He's been trying to use ladder rain. And Holy Spirit when and, and Jackie Julian has been given some really strong things to talk about. And he's going to destroy Hollywood, guys. That's what he showed Jackie Julian. Listen to her Superman video. I love you. I've got to go to work. And I just praise the Lord for all those of you that use your money wisely and you make the decision to get up and move. I hope these videos get to you in time before you spend it foolishly. After all the videos we've all been making, I hope you don't do that. Don't test the Lord thy God. And if you file bankruptcy with him, you have an advocate with the Father that the blood will cover you as you repent because you have to make that decision to get up and leave. I'm sorry about your landlords that live in areas that are going to be destroyed. I'm sorry that you made a mistake to buy a house in an area that's bad, that's going to be affected. I assure you what I saw was black all the way up to the Colorado Mountains and way past the backside of Yellowstone and way to the left and way to the right, the land was burnt because the lava is going to flow like a river. And you have to understand this is the strongest volcano on the face of the earth. Believe it and get up and move, guys. Get up and move. Don't let the lava come your way. There was a 10 year old boy that lives in the middle of um, California near China Lake, 500 miles from China Lake. He saw lava flowing so deeply it was at the top of his swing set and his swing set was melting. Please heed the warning guys, please. 
there's not much more warnings we're going to be allowed to give you before it's just too late. Please heed the warnings.